What's the difference between ground speed and air speed? You should already know that you can change the speed of the glider by raising and lowering the nose. You lower the nose, more ground comes into view and the speed increases. You raise the nose, less ground is in view and the air speed decreases. This is known as the air speed and it is the speed that the glider is moving through the air. Suppose we have a glider which is moving at 50 knots in still air, that means that there's no wind. Its air speed would be 50 knots and its ground speed would be 50 knots. Now suppose that there's a wind of 10 knots which is coming from behind the glider. This is what we'd call a tailwind. The air speed of the glider is still 50 knots, but because the glider and the air mass are moving at 10 knots, the speed of the glider over the ground is 50 plus 10, 60 knots. Now suppose that the wind is coming from in front of the glider, what we call a headwind. In this case, the air speed is still 50 knots, but the ground speed is 50 minus 10 knots, 40 knots. So far we've assumed that the wind comes directly in the line of the glider. But what if we encounter the more common situation where there's some angle between the direction of the wind and the glider? In this case, we can think of the wind split into two parts. A crosswind, which is blowing perpendicular to the glider, and a headwind that is slowing the glider down. If the glider flew as shown here, it would drift to its right by six knots. You might think that the ground speed would be 50 minus 8, 42 knots. Unfortunately, this is not quite true because although the glider has been slowed down by 8 knots in the direction it's facing, it's been sped up by 6 knots sideways. Here you can see that the glider travels, but not directly in the way it's facing, because it's been blown off course by the wind. To compensate for this, we turn very slightly nose into the wind. This means that the uh, drift has been compensated for by a slight sideways component of our motion relative to the direction we want to travel, and we still have 49 knots of ground speed in the direction we want to travel. For new pilots, this can take some time to get used to because you find that you're not traveling in the direction that the nose is pointing. In summary, the airspeed is the speed of the glider as it moves through the air and is shown on the airspeed indicator. It can be adjusted by raising and lowering the nose to adjust the speed of the glider. The ground speed is the speed of the glider over the ground and depends on the airspeed and the wind strength and direction on that particular day. In practice, you're never going to have to calculate the ground speed during flight. However, it helps to have an appreciation that the wind will affect your progress over the ground, especially on a windy day.